Well, good morning. Boy, it's quiet in here. <laughs> it's great. And you're all praying as we got started, right? You're just in prayer. Right? Maybe you were. I hope you were. Well, let's stand together and uh, let's make this our prayer this morning as we begin. Uh, the song says, Fall on us now. It's just a prayer to God that His Spirit would fall on us as we gather together, as we pray together, as we worship together, uh, that He would be here. And so, as you know, when we come together, um, we need to come with a spirit of welcome, a spirit of openness to the Lord. Uh, if we're closed off in our heart, if we're distracted, uh, God can't speak to us the way that He wants to. He can't minister in your life the way that he wants to. There's something he wants to do today. He's called you here. He's gathered us here. So let's give it, uh, give everything we have to him and open ourselves to him. So let's invite him to fall on us now.
begins grace. Amen. We'll take a minute, turn around, and wave to one another this morning. In the name of the Lord. And then you may be seated. Hey, Tony, I think we're having trouble with the monitor. They couldn't hear the guitar in the armor. My guitar acoustic. All right. Well, it's great to have you here. My name is Andy, and I'm the pastor here. Blessed to be uh, here with you this morning. I want to uh, point out several things that are going on uh, right now in our church. If you don't have a bulletin, uh, you want to be sure to grab it on the way out. There's a lot of information in there. But uh, the first thing I want to let you know is how many of you like free things? Anybody? Wow, this group does not like free things. Okay, well, I like free things. Uh, I like free food. I like free pies that people bring to me, which I really, really love. Um, especially apple and blueberry pies, which I love. Um, pies. Anyway, I love free things. Uh, for, uh, Holiness Today, how many of you know Holiness Today is the, the uh, flagship magazine of our denomination? Anybody know that? A few of you, some of the old timers. Uh, we have free copies out of the Welcome Center. Uh, for the next few weeks out there, and uh, we'd love to give those away. A uh, way just to promote uh, the magazine. There's a lot of good content in there. Listen, I know the editors of the Holiness Today magazine, and they are really working hard to make sure that we are producing um, rock-solid uh, articles about Christian life and Christian living. So, if you like free stuff, and even if you don't, because it seems like most of you don't, even if you don't, um, stop by the welcome. Hey, you know what? I got an idea. It just came to me. Uh, why don't you put some money up there if you don't like free stuff? <laughs> Whatever, kidding. Uh, anyway, so those are out there. I wanted to make sure that you were aware of those. And you can you can order your own subscription to those. There's information. I think they're having a sale on those too. But I uh, wanted to make that you aware of that. Also, I want to let you know about our children's camps and retreats, which are coming up. So if you have uh, kids that are in the children's ministries uh, department, and they're, I think they're elementary school age and above, uh, unless you want to send your three-year-old to a children's camp, some of you probably want to do that at some point throughout the week. But uh, that's coming up, so there's information there. Also want to let you know in regards to children's ministry, um, Pastor Brennan is looking for some more uh, people who would be willing to serve in that area. We're not just looking for volunteers, we're looking for servants. People who have a servant's heart, want to honor God, and, uh, and love children, and want to see them come to know Jesus and uh, grow up in Him. So we could definitely use some people to help in that area during the worship hour, so during this time. Um, I know you all love to uh, be in here and hear the, the, the worship team and uh, I like to hear the message, but that's all online now, so there's no excuse, okay? Uh, so maybe once a month or even twice a month, we could, we'd love to have you serve in that area. So please, don't just let this blow over your head. Uh, really pray about it and ask the Lord if he'd have you to do that. And then you can fill out a yellow connection card and write Children's Ministries, and Pastor Brenda will reach out to you and make a connection that way. Also want to let you know, um, we are uh, needing your help. Um, these, we, this year we're celebrating our 100th uh, anniversary at South Bend First Church of the Nazarene, an officially organized church. Uh, we were formed in 1921, and so it's 2021, and we're going to celebrate that. But we have a mailer we want to send out. Um, our first one we're sending out uh, to let everybody know, hey, this is our 100th year. We're going to have a big celebration in October, and we want as many people who have been a part of this church in the past uh, to know about that and possibly to come. So we put these together. It's got our beautiful picture. If you were here on Easter Sunday morning, we all gathered out in front and got our pictures taken. And that uh, looks really good. My favorite part of this picture, where's Chuck? Is he here? He's not in here. Good. Uh, so embarrassing. Chuck uh, Lambert is in the doorway in the back there. And so if you look really closely, there's Chuck in the back. He's, he's sneaking in the doorway there. Uh, and then it's got pictures across the bottom of all the five buildings uh, that used to be a part uh, of where we used to worship uh, throughout the years. And on the back's got some information. So uh, the team, we have a great team. Uh, we could use more volunteers in that area. Uh, the team needs your help in co collating and collecting addresses. So if you know um, uh, some folks and you have addresses that maybe we don't have, or maybe you think we probably have it, but you're not sure, please check with our team and make sure we have Make sure we have your current address, but if you know other people who used to attend here or worship here, we want those addresses too, okay? Maybe you're, you know, you've got your, your address book and it's all, the pages are folded. Some of us old timers used to have those. Um, please look for those and get those addresses to our team so that we can uh, reach out to them and, and be able to communicate with them through these mailers, okay? The last thing that I want to invite um, Bill Walsh to come up, and he shared last week, but we're going to share again this week. Tony will probably use, I don't know if it's a purple, well, it'd be the purple and yellow channel. 
So let's, you want to grab that mic there, Bill, in the front pew? Is there one there? It's okay. Good morning. There we go. Is a little better? Helps to turn it on. Uh, last week I shared a need of the church. Uh, so a lot of these needs do not have to be on the pastor's shoulders. So we end up with the laity. We uh, try to, at least I'm going to try to take some burden off of his, off of his shoulders and uh, ask for money. And like I said last week, that's one of the hardest things I've ever tried to do. Um, the need, if you weren't here last week, um, our air conditioning for this old part of the building is shot. Commercial units, industrial units are usually have lifetime of 15 years. The Lord has been good to us and gave us double that. It's been over 30 years, going on 31 years for our, these original units that we have upstairs behind me. And the uh, compressors are outside on the south, off the south wall. Um, just an update, we uh, took a step of faith, church board, and we've uh, given them initial money out of the church funds to uh, get the parts ordered. It's like six to eight weeks delivery. So the parts are ordered. Sometime this coming week, we're gonna have the contractor come out. He's gonna bring a mill bike foreman with him to figure out how to get the old units down from upstairs and the new units up. And um, for the units outside, our good friends at Crane uh, uh, Industrial Services are gonna be taking care of that uh, with, with their cranes uh, when the time comes. So that's the update. What we're looking forward to today in the next several weeks is donations to go for this. It's forty-two thousand four hundred dollars. That's a budget buster. It's something that we didn't really plan for the last thirty years to take care of. So now it's the needs upon us to uh, uh, take care of that. And like the pastor mentioned, we have the hundredth anniversary. If it's hot that day in October, we're going to be prepared because. Uh, um, one is the right thing to do to um, have a comfortable sanctuary. I asked everyone last week to sit in their homes when we had 80 degree temperatures and then think about having not, not having AC and then being in a sanctuary at 90 degree temperatures possibly in July and hearing the hum of several fans in the sanctuary taking care of us instead of that blowing around hot air. Uh, it's not really what anyone's looking forward to. So I'm looking for starting donations today. Um, we don't have any update yet. Do we, and, and, and 300 we came in last week. Yeah, 300 already came in last okay. week. So, okay, thank you. So that, that's a start, but uh, obviously we need, we need a lot more. So we're looking for donations to come in to take to cover that. And one more thing I want, want to uh, ask you to think about. In this world, the world that, uh, works on buying and selling. Do you know that the Bible? That's not how it works. It's on receiving and giving. Where do we receive from? We receive from the Lord. He's our source. He gives us the necessary things to live. And if you really want to have the heart of Christ, you become a giver. So, what I'm asking you is to think about it. What do you give to help the needs of this building that we worship in? Think about what you receive from the Lord and what you can give back. Now, this isn't a one, once a lifetime offering, but it's also not like a once a year, once a year, like a once a year offering. So, dig down deep, dig down in your hearts, see the Lord would like you to give back to his ministry here in South Bend. And I would like to end with these four words. May God bless you. Thank you, Bill. Many of you know we have a uh, Classical Conversations, which is a homeschool uh, co-op. I, I think that's the right word. Is it a co-op? Yeah, it works for me. Um, anyway, we have a homeschool group that meets here on Thursdays. And uh, there's like 70 or 80 kids and their families that are part of that. Uh, last year, I don't know if it because they were so hot <laughs> or what, but it was the most precious thing. Uh, one Thursday afternoon, a little girl comes up to me and uh, gave me a dollar bill. And she said, I wanna, I wanna help with the air conditioning units. <laughs> After that, another family contributed $100. They don't attend this church, 
um, but they wanted to be a part of what God was doing here. And so I would encourage you, I really appreciate Bill saying that, that we have received so much from the Lord. Salva eternal salvation, you can't even put a price on that. There's no way, you can't quantify that. Um, but we have an opportunity together to pull together to, um, to, to, to meet the resources that we need uh, to, to play, make this place a, a place where we can worship together. And uh, so I want to encourage you, uh, above and beyond tithes, regular tithes and offerings, it's a sacrifice. We're going to dig a little bit um, to do this, to make this happen. But I believe we can. Uh, I have faith in you. You guys have been faithful throughout all the time that I've been here and through the many years prior to that. So I want to encourage you today, if you would give... Um, to that, uh, you can mark that on your check that you're giving specifically to that. You can give online. Um, you can give cash, donations, whatever. Just use an envelope so we know which one's going to tithes and which one's going to that. So, thank you so much, Bill. Thanks for sharing. Uh, let's stand together. Let's continue in worship. And uh, this next song really kind of touches on on this whole uh, idea of our needs. We need. Sometimes things seem big, bigger than what we can imagine. They seem insurmountable. Uh, but God can overcome that. As we're faithful, as we follow Him, as we obey Him, He can even use us and work through us in doing that. So let's sing this together.
Lift 
I pray, Lord, that you would help us to, re to orient our lives around you, around your word, around your will and your way, God. Everything about it, our time, what we spend it on, and uh, our entertainment, our resources and finances, God, that you would be the center of all of those things. Lord, we know that when we do that, when our lives are organized in the way that you've created and intended us to be, God, that's when things will go uh, the best for us. Not that there won't be outside influences, but God, would you just help us to do that in a way that, that works with you, doesn't go against you. Lord, I pray for us this morning as a church, we would be found faithful. We would be found um, uh, willing to sacrifice for you. God, you gave everything for us. Your word says that you didn't even withhold your only son, that you sent your son, that anyone that would believe in him would never die but have eternal life. So, Lord, may we also give back to you all that you've called us and all that we can to honor you. I thank you for this time. Uh, I pray that you would uh, be with us now in the remainder of our time together, God, that you would speak uh, through me and speak through your word today. And, Lord, may that word, again, find fertile soil, open hearts, open eyes, open ears to be receptive and obedient to what it is you share today. We pray this in Jesus' name. Amen.